Over the last 30 years globally, the number of unprovoked shark bites uh, has consistently uh, increased and there's been uh, a number of spikes in hotspots around the world as well. But one of the most significant reasons is that there's simply been more people in the water. So more people in the water that means a greater likelihood uh, of an unprovoked bite. It can't always be explained just by uh, an increase in the number of people. There are some other factors. Uh, in particular, my research is, is revealing that an increase in, uh, in food resource, particularly for the white shark, is likely to have increased the overlap between humans using the, uh, using the water and uh, white shark abundance. White sharks are attracted inshore for food. Uh, we know the abundance of seals have gone up uh, and the abundance of humpback whales um, has gone up. There's no completely conclusive evidence that uh, unprovoked shark bite is mitigated by sh uh, shark control activities, that is shark culling activities such as drum lines and shark nets. The Shark Spotters program is a unique community initiative uh, to increase uh, real-time information flow um, to beach users and also to collect information on habitat use of the sharks. But its primary goal is to provide a warning system to swimmers in real time that the risk at a given beach um, is heightened. So it has a number of trained observers uh, on high points, on high vantage points um, such as headlands. Their dedicated role is, is to spot sharks relay that information to um, their colleagues on the beach uh, and there's a series of coloured flags which uh, identify to swimmers and water users what the risk is at that particular time. Uh, so it's a very good method of providing that information so people can make an informed decision. Um, you have to have the right topography or the right built environment uh, to implement it. Uh, I consider the beaches around, uh, around Sydney with the high vantage points of the headlands uh, is suitable. And in theory we could have it on the Gold Coast, particularly uh, along Surface Paradise, because we'd use the high-rise uh, buildings as a platform for spotting.